Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Got a new toy in, so let's unbox it. This is the Fossil Watch. Uh, so I am queuing my curiosity. Get it? Q, Q, yeah. Uh, here's what it looks like on the box. Cool, so it's gonna be a metal watch. It's been a little while since I've used one of those. Uh, other new thing here where the, I saw the little, uh, there it is. Intel is inside this one. So that's also a new one for us. So uh, we'll see how that works. I have not actually opened this yet. So you are doing this with me for the first time. Nice sturdy box, and there is the watch. Nice little uh, pillow top. Oh, cool. What do we have going on here? Is that the charger? Maybe? Ah, oh, it is. So micro USB goes in there, and this is the giant charging pillow that uh, it will rest on. So the Apple Watch is not the only one with the crazy charging pillow now. How about that? Wow, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So here it is next to the uh, Huawei watch, which I am wearing. Not sure if I can get it to turn on. Is it just the one button? I think so. We'll see if we can get it to turn on. Might need to be charged first. Uh, the links. See, we've got all sorts of protective plastic, but it's it's a nice, you know, heavy feeling watch, and that's how I like my uh, my metal watches. You can see here on the back. Kind of see it there. Nice little uh, fossil Intel. Made in China, FCC stuff, so not a whole lot going on back there. See uh, some screws holding the whole thing together. And it looks like the bracelet is actually quick release. Let's see if I can get it off here. Yeah, so that comes off pretty easily. I'll probably have to take some links out. And then go back in. Can I get it back in easily? Uh, I see, got to push them back. So I'll deal with that in a minute. I'm going to have to take some links out. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure. So a uh, pretty standard clasp here as well. It folds in on itself, and comes back together. All in all, not a bad looking watch. So again, next to the uh, Huawei watch, it does have a flat tire on, on the bottom there. So uh, we will charge this thing up and give it a good look. So stay tuned for more. Uh, also inside the box, let's see there's more way down here. Buried under the plastic. So we've got a little uh, USB charger. What is that output at? Uh, da, 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 a thousand milliamp hours. We've got a pretty standard micro USB cord. And let's see what's in here. Fossil Q warranty and information. I am totally gonna get right on that and read it. Oh, look at that charge indicator will be on the side. It's kind of interesting. See if there's anything else here we care about. Touchscreen, home power button, charging surface is on the back. They call that a charging cuff. Okay. And that is it for the book. Okay, and I finally got it uh, fired up, so we'll take a quick look. Here is one of the fossil watch faces. I've already switched it from the default ones because I like this better. Uh, you'll notice that it does. Hi, Mike. How's it going, Mike? Mike's the one working on our app. He's working hard. Um, so it does have the flat tire down here on the bottom. I am not a fan of that. If it doesn't bother you, fine. Uh, all things being equal, I really like the design of this, though. Really nice watch. This is basically kind of what the LG Watch or Bane was trying to be, just without breaking the bank. Uh, this is running Android 5.1.1. No 6 on it yet, like is on the, uh, the canceled Watch or Bane 2. <laughs> so everything looks pretty familiar here. You know, same settings, not really seeing anything different or unexpected. Uh, the display itself, not bad. So let's switch away from this black and white watch face so you can get a better idea of the display. See, digital is the one that it uh, comes with out of the box. So you see it's got all this stuff on it. Cool, I guess. It's December, you can tell. So uh, not a bad resolution at all. I think I'm a little used to the, uh, the different uh, density on the Huawei watch. But let's see, everybody's big on, oh look, there's Fred. You wanna see Fred? We've got a whole bunch of watch faces. That's kinda of nice actually. Actually, that looks really good on here. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera all that well, but it looks pretty darn good in person. Wow, there's a lot of color. Thanks, Fossil. Wow, ooh, yeah, no, that one's not for me. I don't think. Anything else in here I might like? I kinda of like Fred actually. Roulette? Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, neat. That's different. 
kind of like that. I'm not sure I'd use it, but I like it and together. So you got a handful of uh, fossil wash faces and most of the stock ones. I don't know. Will I stick with the classic? Maybe. Come here. You can change the color of it, though. You can uh, customize it somewhat. So maybe I'll play with that some. Maybe I'll do blue. How about blue? Oh, yeah, that's much better. I like that. So maybe I'll stick with that. I got to go get the band resized. Uh, one other interesting note is the screws on here, and these are screws, I believe, and not pins. Uh, the screws are kind of extra tiny. And so the, um, the uh, little tiny watch screwdriver that I normally use will not fit it. So I'm actually going to have to run down to a store. I think they're screws. They look like screws. My eyes are really bad. Uh, so I'm going to have to mess with that some more, but you know, just usual clasp. And that is how it looks on the wrist. So $300. Um, this might well become my favorite watch. I don't know. I, I got, <laughs> I got to see, but the rest of it looks really, really nice. So there you go. A very quick look at the fossil watch. We will have far more later. See ya.